It's trying to put out a frown in the middle. <laughs> Cute. It, you are so, <laughs> you are so weird. <laughs> yeah, so these are all the babies that you're propagating. Cute. Welcome to a private tour of a Taiwanese rare platycerium collector by the name of Huang Shijie. This topic is broken down into two episodes so as not to overwhelm you. In today's episode, we tour his extremely rare and expensive platycerium collection. We unravel the mysteries of their origins and why their excruciatingly high price tags are justified. Feast your eyes on the beautiful, diverse, and unique platyceriums in this episode while getting to know some of their names. I felt very lucky to have this opportunity to view and film these rare platyceriums as only a handful of collectors in the world has them. In the next episode, we dive really deep into the care of these magnificent treasures, including his controversial method of using 24-hour artificial light. Our generous host divulges every little detail about how to grow these platyceriums into show-quality specimens. I was surprised to know that most of these platyceriums do not favor hot and humid tropical climates such as one that I live in. Do not miss out the end of the episode where our master propagate a platyserum for us. I promise you will come out of these two episodes with newfound respect for the platyserum. Perhaps you might even gain the confidence to pick one up to try. Special thanks to our knowledgeable translator Elvin who will be taking us around Taiwan in many upcoming episodes. Now,我要跟大家来介绍我所栽培的鹿角蕨。很多人以为我栽培了非常的久，但其实我栽培鹿角蕨重新再回来玩鹿角蕨之后，短短的三年。那这三年我被鹿角蕨再度吸引的原因
Yeah. My gosh. And um, so these are almost like collector's items, I think, because like the average person would probably not be able to afford this or be able to and distinguish this from... Uh, uh, I don't think the normal collectors will <laughs> buy them. <laughs> yeah, so this is a very specialty novelty. Very special, yeah. Uh, like you have to be very specific. The novelty this. of this pleasure is yeah. small. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, very silvery, what's the called? Filaments. Yeah, mm. really, really gorgeous. Look at how yeah. silver that oh, is. Sorry. Yeah. Is this, <laughs> is this similar to what's on the airplanes? The, uh, you have the silver fur, uh, what do uh, you call it? The trichomes. Um, this, oh, the trichomes help them to collect the, the water in from the ear, in the ear, in, in the air. <laughs> so it's similar. This is trichomes similar to ones found in Tilansia. Or is it different? You know? mm, but also, the trichomes helps them to prevent the uh, the too bright, uh, the sunlight. Oh, shield them from the light. Yeah, shield them. So I, I heard that the the more light they can take, usually they produce more trichome. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So next one, let's go through this. One. Yellow moon dwarf. Oh, yellow moon dwarf. Yeah. Yellow moon dwarf. Huang Yue. Oh, yellow moon. Yeah. So we're gonna take some time to, to appreciate some of these because you will only be able to see these in like specialty shows or specialty collectors places. You will not see this in like regular, uh, <laughs> regular, you know, nursery. regular nursery. Yeah. So we are in for a treat, you guys. You guys uh, got pretty lucky today. I got, I feel really lucky to be in the presence of this today. Oh, this, this one, one. this was cultivated by Jekyll. Oh really? So yeah. it's called William Jewel. 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 So you named it Jewel? Yeah, mm -hmm. name is Jewel. He named it. He named it himself. Oh, oh. Jewel. Why is it? Why is it? Uh, why is it named Jewel? Uh, Jewel is a uh, very beautiful beetles. Oh. Jewel beetle. Oh, it's, it's oh. very rare and you, beautiful. Oh, you name it after the beetle. Okay. Oh yeah. So uh, Mr. Atie, sorry, Atie, is a collector of beetles. He has got a YouTube channel. I'm gonna link on the screen <laughs> if you wanna check out his uh, exotic insects. But yeah, this is named after the beetle, but this is really interesting. So wait, really quickly, uh, you named it, you discovered it. How does it, how was it discovered? Was it created? This is Okay, so let me say it correctly. So there, there was a collector who collected this plant. It was unnamed at the time. They found this really interesting form and shape that is very different from all the other wheeling kiosks. And the person who discovered it gave uh, Mr. Atie the right to name this. So he named it Jewel. Uh, and the collector gave him the authority to name it. Yeah, plant. interesting. So now this is called Jewel. Mm, and this is bacteria. Yeah, the last one. This is very curious. I might have seen this on Instagram. <laughs> and I'm going to show this on the side first because when you see it from the front, it's almost like symmetrical. This is really crazy. Beautiful. Yeah, and you said it's called bacteria because it looks like... Looks a, like a, a cell. And when, <laughs> when, the, it only, when only it got the shield fronts, it mm. looks like a bacteria. It is okay. a shield fronts. Yeah. Mm. You know, oh yeah, bacteria. for those of you who are new to platyceriums, the basic morphology is that this is the shield front and this is the fertile front. Yeah. yeah. Name is White Boy. White Boy? Yeah. But uh, uh, very beautiful, but not many people like. Oh, because Why? Because it's, because it's not small. <laughs> Maybe this is not a tiny yeah. plant. <laughs> no, yeah. everybody likes a small type. Yeah, and these are all... Oh, uh, yeah, this is very good. What is this? Golden boy. Oh, golden, golden boy, boy again. <laughs> so why is it different from the other? I forgot there was another boy. Golden boy sport. Yeah. Sport. Oh, sport. Which means uh, it it was gathered from the seedlings from this one. Okay. Now take a photo to it. Okay. It it is a seedling from this. Okay, this but this area. this is still young. It will get big. This right. No, it's young. Maybe yeah. half, uh, half, half a year. Half, half a year, year. Yeah. half a year will half be year okay. mature. And, and uh, this, this now is very hot in Taiwan because yeah, this is the Wayang Kiai dwarf. 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 Look, look, uh, se select. Okay. Select? What yeah, very mean? special. The hand, different. The okay. hand is di okay. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, different, you can see. Yeah. Cool. This is uh, some babies over here. So, with Wilinki eyes, they do 
put out these pops or offsets from the side and we will discuss this maybe in a bit of detail in next episode in the care portion but look at this are all the offshoots and is there some in the back yeah there are some growing in the back of the media as well so yeah stay tuned if you want to see the you know the light requirement the medium and propagation and all that questions very cute look at that <laughs> cute little baby is William Kia easy to care for relatively or is it difficult Depends on what kind of clones. <laughs> Depend on, so all of the clones have different care, even though they have the same name. Yes, okay. but for the smaller one, they need cooler, te they need a temperate environment for them. Okay, hmm. interesting. But for the normal kind of wedding guy, you will just put him outside, it's fine, in Taiwan. <laughs> yeah, but y again, these are from Indonesia, but they do like a little bit more temperate cooler climate oh, because uh, most of this uh, I mean pick me a form of pedestrian mm -hmm. uh, pedestrian in I they collect it from a uh, highland around 1000 meters okay uh, cool let's quickly so take a look so these are all the babies that you're propagating cute oh, it's like a little baby nursery <laughs> back there <laughs> just setting up the light here so we can get a better view of these satisariums. Thank you for setting this up. And while we're getting ready for this area, there's all these Aglaonema pictum tricolors. Now in Japan, they do cultivate many different mutations and forms of these. They all have their own unique names. But yeah, Japanese people, they love their pictum tricolors and also platycerium. Let's take a look at this collection here. So these were already sold. They're going to what country? Japan? Is that uh, or yeah. another? Japan. Yeah. Uh, Japan, Taiwan, Taiwan, Taiwan. <laughs> okay, so they're waiting to be picked up. And then this is not Willing Ki, right? this is Bambi. Uh, it's a hybrid. hybrid. Uh, it's hybrid? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a hybrid. capital B. Hybrid from Willing Ki, <laughs> too. Okay, nice form actually. And look at the babies off the side, this is very cute. So does, does it get more expensive when they have babies? Or same uh, price? This baby, uh, last year, is expensive. Okay. One, one poo poo. Mm -hmm. It's small, over the 10,000 10, 10, 10, 10, oh, okay. mm -hmm. But then now, maybe 3,000. Oh, okay, went, went down quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Thanks to tissue culture. <laughs> tissue culture, yeah, apparently they are coming in from tissue culture, uh, a lot mm -hmm. of platyceriums from Taiwan. But we'll be seeing that, I guess, in some of our less developed markets because some of these platyceriums are still new to like I say even in Indonesia these are originally from Indonesia but because there's very few collectors there um, we're only seeing them coming to the market and a part to and a Thailand and a part Thailand Thailand has one yeah Thailand, Thailand. Yeah. Thailand. Thailand. from Thailand sounds like a Thailand name yeah Thailand. Anapat now it's popular is it one poo poo maybe mm. 20,000 well, this is cute too um, but when it's in a pot like this already it's time to repot to a big size soon right yep yeah this so, is uh, a yeah. normal no more the wing ki ah so this is the most common one that we see yes wing ki but it's very small yeah but right it's, now. it's, it's interesting small. to see uh, the basic one because we saw some of the rare ones so it's a nice contrast this is really interesting wow. it's very fat this is fronts. Uh, last year is famous in world. It's Junka. Junka. Yeah. Junka. Which means, uh, is Japanese, Junka means uh, Junka. silver flower. Silver in flower. In kanji, is silver flower. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Sure it is from sure. Japan. It is from Japan. Uh, the clonal name is uh, Cotton Cloud. Yeah. Cotton, cotton Cloud. Cotton Cloud. Yeah. Interesting. It's <laughs> that looks like somebody's bosom there. Very cute. Oh, it's from Taoru Day in from Japan. The Taoru Day is a is a nursery from Japan. Mm. Okay, and this one it is a um, Petasurum metacariensis uh, cross cross with what I forgot. What's which, that? Which, which, which yeah? What's yeah. your fichia? Fichia. Now that this telling me that this uh, one of the parent plant is from Madagascar, a species. Oh, Madagascar. Madagascariensis. Yes. Yeah, I thought they're mostly from like tropical Southeast Asia, but they do exist in Africa. Africa. Africa got uh, four to five species. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like the 18 like total. Elephantotus, Madagascariensis, uh, uh, 
Kocha da Katoma, Kocha da Katoma, and also what? How's it more? And look at Yundun, Yundun, ah, ah. Oh, Elsa Coney. Elsa Coney is all from, eh, from both Madagascar and Africa. Okay. And also one species from South America, Endinum. Only one. Only one. Only one. Also another clone. A bit of history. The collector found it in from Taiwan. They found it. From Taiwan, how, how, I don't know how to describe. I don't know the word, but it comes out like yeah. one like this. Lo, a lo, elongated, elongated. No. Uh, also very branched. Uh, very okay. branched. Branched and elongated. Yep. Okay, and that's very cute. It's trying to put out a frond in the middle. <laughs> cute. It, it was so. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> yeah, and then it will spread out like. What are you doing? Spread out like, like that. Has anyone done a time lapse? For this, it was so pretty. Time lapse. Uh, Time lapse isn't much. Maybe like someone, maybe someone did it. Yo, you want to do a slow motion picture? No. So you can try. You can see that. Like if you see that, it it spits out. Oh, sure. so beautiful. Okay. This baby, very, very, very special <coughs> and rare because it is not organized. Not organized. You see? Oh, not organized. Hmm. Then its name is called the Flame Flame. Flame is flame something. Flame. Just flame. Okay. Uh, uh, Ma Mother Prince, he's similar white flower, uh, fire, fire, white, like white flame. flame, white flame, white flame. Yeah. Interesting. This is a uh, gizmo. Gizmo. White gizmo. White gizmo. Send wing. Like the wing. Okay. Now his color is close to pink. Not not white. I think it's silver. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. It's very, very. Uh, what are the top three most expensive ones here currently? <sighs> in, uh, I think it's expensive. Number one yeah. is Golden Boy. This wow. Now it's twenty twenty three March. <laughs> Go. Okay. Yeah, we should hold today's newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Golden Boy now in the world only one mother print. Wait. So, what? Only one in the central. Central Taiwan. Okay. So uh, every year maybe three or four pupu. Okay. So it's expensive. For this this pupu I buy the last year. Mm -hmm. I buy. How much? Four four. Sixty one. How much? Four hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. For small one. Yeah yeah. Not pupu. Not this. It's like small. Oh, only this. What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he's he seldom sell this. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Number two, Jenny. Jenny. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Jenny is a beautiful and it has a lot of branches. How do you say? It's very a lot of branches. Okay. Okay. So branches. You can see. Oh, cute. One bubu. Yeah. Thirty-five. Thirty. Ah, three hundred fifty. Three hundred. Three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! What? Yeah, interesting. And you see, he sold many purples already. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> counting the money. Yeah, I'm counting. One, two, yeah. three, four, five. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. okay, number three. Many, many people want this. Okay. This is a look. When he look at six. Look. Yeah, six. Select. Very special hand. Okay. Look. It's one purple. Small, yeah, two hundred thousand. Very small, smaller than this. Expensive. But can it get very big or just like like maybe like this size? Yeah, maybe maybe like about this size. Yeah. Okay. Cute. It's very very fuzzy. It's more furry than other. Yeah. Cute. Very cute. <laughs> Same like your hand. Yeah. Hello. Still a very small very plant. Cute. But one thing about the wheeling key is it's probably a good investment because wheeling keys, when they are established, <laughs> they can put babies. Good investment. So good investment too. It's a good investment. Yeah, because 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 it's a good investment. 你涨得比人快，你就可以变成一个好的投资。可是如果你中它，你就是想要赚钱而已。我会觉得那丧失了原本栽培的那一份心，很可惜。对，而且 this you you need a lot of love to to take care of this to maintain the building. Yeah, to maintain. 
Yeah, so it's not investment like need to be rich or to buy yourself a car, but it was investment to pay back the, the original pl price that you paid for. We are okay, in the balcony now, and we are going to be showing the last uh, rare platycerium here. This is the FWSQ. Yeah. What does yeah. that stand for? FWSQ is a very special name <laughs> because original friend, friend the mother prince is uh, people. He name is. Uh, from Feng Shiqi. Yeah. Oh, Feng Shiqi from oh, Malaysia. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. So this is his hybrid. No, no. This is no, a, no, no, no. Is a Feng Shiqi sport. Sport. The sport. The sport of Feng Shiqi. Yeah. Okay. Selector. The sport of Feng Shiqi selector. Yeah. Oh. So Feng Shiqi is a is a is a hybrid already of. So it's a he don't know how to. Yeah. Do it. He don't, he know. don't know. He don't know. Oh, he doesn't do know how it's done because. He just makes a lot of a lot of kind of spores. Interesting, and yeah. then this is actually quite interesting, quite beautiful. And you said it was grown back there, so it was getting really good conditions. So the leaves are completely perfect right there. Yeah. <laughs> and in next week's episode, we're going to show uh, platycerium care outdoors and indoors in a subtropical climate because Taiwan is not tropical by any means. But yeah, this is an interesting and beautiful rare platycerium. And I guess with that, we will close this episode and see you in the next one where we discuss the care and maybe a little bit about the separation propagation of the Phatocerium. Okay. Thank you so much, Atye and Alvin. Hi. See you. <laughs> see you, <laughs> see you guys episode. in the next he, he's, he's mesmerized by, <laughs> by this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you, Patreon members, for supporting the channel. Should you consider joining as a member, the Patreon link is Sean from Only Plants. It can also be found in this video description. I've started producing bonus contents for members. These include plant hauls, plant shopping, and mini bite-sized adventures. The same bonus contents will also be unlocked for you if you join to become a YouTube member of the channel. There is a monthly membership fee as small as a cup of coffee a month. Simply go to Only Plants channel page and click join. Your contributions help me grow the channel, do better content, and have a better quality of life. For that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart.